Here we are. Jinjo's Nexus Tower. Exactly. Let me see. Uh, think of it as Jinjo's largest service station. Or an integration hub. It's something along those lines. A tech person myself. Long story short, it's a navigator, a defense system. The smaller ones we ran into earlier are resonance beacons. Data is shared between all beacons. You activate one, and the entire map's data will be relayed to your terminal. Pretty nifty, huh? Just place your terminal here. in place. Rover, you can come visit the Magistrate at any time. Jizia, do you mind bringing Rover over to the City Hall? Magistrates expect it. Go see for yourself. Everyone's been talking about it. Every guest is important to Jinjo. They didn't tell me I'm not. Why can't you let me talk to the magistrate? How far did you get? Ew. First time seeing such a crowd in front of the city hall. I was surprised too. I've never seen so many non staff personnel here before. Most of the people here have applied for an audience. But I heard they've all been turned down. Most people were advised to... There is a small chance she's not in the city hall, but it's very unlikely for her not to be in Jinzhou. Or rather, it's nearly impossible for the magistrate to leave Jinzhou at all. With her busy schedule, it's already difficult to find any time off. In addition, as the magistrate of Jinzhou, Leaving the land under her jurisdiction without authentication is not allowed. Unless she's engaged on a business trip, or when Jinjo's safety is under threat. Yep, there's gotta be something big if that's the case. Most people were advised to leave by the Magistrate's bodyguard upon sending in their applications. The ones staying here? are either trying to apply for some other people 
or just too stubborn to leave. The few that made it inside said it only took one freezing look from Lady Sanwa, and they were compelled to leave. What kind of description is that? Sounds like they've met some snake-haired lady and got turned into stone. She's the Magistrate's personal bodyguard. Oh, I've heard of her before. She's the all-round Death Glare slash Terminator Ice Beauty. That's what the rumors say, at least. So this is the true confidence of our rover. I agree, though. So far, you've been ticking all the boxes in our Magistrate's description. Sure it can. Have you thought of something, Rover? You mean... I can't really keep up with your thoughts. But I think a meeting with a magistrate wouldn't hurt. Same here. Anywhere, a magistrate's the best lead we have for now. No matter what she has in store for Rover. VIP or not VIP? Special or not special? That doesn't matter at all. Unless there's money to earn, of course. <laughs> what do you think, Rover? Are you in a hurry to recover your memories? In that case, how about meeting with the Magistrate first? She may have the answers you're looking for. We're not allowed to go with you. Shizya and I will be right outside the City Hall. We'll be waiting for you. That's right! We're not going anywhere. Just give us a shout if anything goes down. Wait, no, we won't be able to hear you. Plus, they've got this rule about not yelling inside the city hall. Remember the VIP the magistrates expected. Go see here. Kindly have a seat. Lady Sanhua will be with you shortly. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I apologize for the delay. My name is San Hua, the bodyguard of Madame Magistrate. I regret to inform you that Madame Magistrate is currently away. Prior to her departure, she instructed me to bring you these tokens and a welcome gift. Madame Magistrate advised you to explore what these tokens represent during her absence. This may help you acquire the information you desire sooner. I apologize for the inconvenience, but please rest assured she will be here to meet you in three days' time. Sorry, I cannot disclose her whereabouts at this time. Please trust me that she is eagerly looking forward to meeting you in person. Pardon my inability to provide a better answer. Madam Magistrate has a task that she must handle alone but she has never for one moment forgotten about her meeting with you. Not knowing exactly when you'd arrive, she had to leave without having the chance to welcome you in person. 
because she will require at least three days to complete her current task. Madam Magistrate wanted to assure you that in three days, by any means, she will return to meet you in person. You... I'll be sure to convey your kindness to Madam Magistrate. Please accept my sincerest gratitude. Yes, Madam Magistrate does hope to have your assistance, but there is no rush for a decision. She does not want to pressure you into anything you may not desire. We invite you to learn about our situation before making a final commitment. Since Madam Magistrate is currently away, I cannot make the final confirmation on her behalf. But you, you are truly exceptional. Regarding that, My eyes can see the frequencies of all living beings. Or rather, those frequencies are the only thing I can see. You, you share the same frequency with Madam Magistrate. You look undistorted and authentic in your original form. In my eyes, you appear the way you are. They all look different. May I have your terminal for a moment? Indeed, it was an oversight on my end. I will now import my contact information and that of all public services, like patrol stations, into your terminal. I will be here on standby, ready to assist whenever you need me. I need your terminal for regional access authorization. I will also configure the latest utility module for you. Madam Magistrate thought you might need it. The utility module on your terminal has been upgraded to the latest iteration. Now, all the utilities, including sensor, levitator, and grapple, should be fully functional. You are now granted unlimited access to all regions in Jinzhou. I have sent your terminal ID to every border pass and residence beacon. You will only need to display your terminal ID or activate a beacon with your terminal for entry. You are free to visit any part of Jinjo. Yes, including the city hall. You have full access to its facilities. Also, may I ask, have you decided your place of residence in Jinjo? If not, Madam Magistrate has arranged accommodation for you in advance, here in the city hall. I will lead you to your room if you need. Understood. We will be ready to accommodate you anytime. Rover! It took you so long! What gives? Was our magistrate a chatterbox? So Madam Magistrate's not in the city hall. <clears throat> the wind is rising. In it, I sense disturbance and unrest. The increasing tacit fields, uncannily powerful tacit discords, and now, our Magistrate's absence, plus the mysterious Rover. I'm afraid. Well, 
we've reported to the City Hall, the Ministry of War, and the Academy. We've done everything we can. I mean, this is one long. And we're talking about Jinzhou of all places. We've been through our fair share of unrest over the past thousand years, and we've made it together every time. There's been TD outbreaks every year, but we can always trust General Ji Yan, Madam Magistrate, and our Sentinel to have our backs. We're not ones to mess with. United we stand, a bastion of might. One equals a legion, invulnerable in fight. Well said, Jizya. Do you have any plans, Rover? Rover, do you mind if we have a look at the tokens? So, what's so special about them? Hmm, it seems like a miniature sundial. On this sundial, time seems to be represented by the 12 earthly branches drawn on the outer ring of its surface. And its inner ring shows the four symbols, each representing one cardinal direction. These are the four famous auspicious beasts in Huang Long's folklore. Generally, the teal long represents the east. The white tiger stands for the west. The vermilion bird stands for the south. And finally, we have the black tortoise for the north. It seems the sundial is supposed to show both time and direction. But how can it work when there is not a compass attached? Not to mention, the lack of sunlight basically renders it useless. Ugh, that requires way too much brain power. A candy? Oh, I've had these when I was a kid. I think they were called sugar pearls, but I haven't seen anything like this in a while. Went out of trend, maybe. It reminds me of my childhood. I still remember the taste. It was so sweet. I was really scared of getting my flu shots when I was little. And sometimes the nurse lady would hand out candies like this as a prize for being good. But what does it mean as a token? This leaf seems a bit odd. Can't tell what tree it is. I think I can feel something from it. Hmm. Never mind. It's too faint. Maybe it was just my imagination. Sorry. I can't tell what kind of tree this leaf belongs to either. This is a mangosteen fruit. Mangosteens are not native to Zhenzhou. They are usually imported by boat. I think we can find more mangosteens being sold at the nearby markets. They're not always available for purchase, though. The frequent tacit discord outbreaks can disrupt transportation and cause shortages. The Midnight Rangers have greatly improved the situation in recent years, but still... So Jizya and I share similar childhood memories of the Sugar Pearl. Do you remember it too, Rover? When it comes to candies, no one knows them better than the kids of Jinjo. to the Huashu Academy. Let's see who reaches there faster. Yang Yang just installed some apps for you, remember? Just look for the one that's called Utilities on the terminal.
See? Just open the YouTube. See? See? Just open the utilities, select the grapple, and there you go. If you want to be a hero like the Jinjo Speedster, you... Oh, wait a sec. Someone's looking for me. Yeah? What? When did he disappear? Don't worry. It's all right. I'll be right there. Duty calls. Oops. Almost forgot. Can't be late. Sorry, Rover Yang Yang. I've got to head off for my shift. I'll join you right after I'm done, all right? If you need me, just shout my name. And I, the Jinjo Speedster, will be there in a sec. Stop! Stop! Don't call me that. Anyway, I gotta go. You guys okay on your own? Give me a heads up when there's any updates. Sure. Go do your thing. Don't worry. I'm staying with him. Rover, let's go inside. to my message. She's probably busy in her lab. Over there must be Mr. Mortify from the Department of Safety. Baiju once mentioned him before. He might be able to help us get in touch with Baiju, but um, it seems we've caught him at a bad time. Anyway, let's try asking him, shall we? What? You need something? Mr. Mortify, please pardon our intrusion. We are friends of Baiju, and we're here to look for her. I see. I hope I didn't cause any offense earlier. Not at all. It was us who bothered you. Baiju should be in the data analysis room. I'll go tell her you're here. Thank you, sir. This is Mortify, a renowned figure in the Department of Safety. He was born in the New Federation, and he joined the Washu Academy a few years ago. I... Here you are. The data we collected in the Gorges of Spirits has been submitted for analysis, and we'll have the results today. I have the equipment for your physical examinations ready, too. Any discoveries during your trip to the City Hall? What do you think, Baiju? Hmm. I have a hypothesis about the Sugar Pearl, but I need to verify it first. If possible, I recommend conducting non-destructive tests of all these tokens you have. Data is always straightforward. The first three tokens can be tested at my branch's laboratory. This miniature sundial will require radiographic testing, though. To access the necessary equipment, we'll need to file a request with one of the Tacitite Studies related branches. Yes, Mortify is the branch of Tacitite Weaponry's head within the Department of Safety. One moment, please. Give me the items to be tested. Anything else you need me to know, you can let me know now. You may retrieve your items in 20 minutes, and the analysis report will be ready five minutes after that. Take a right, and you'll find me in the testing room. It will take some time before the results are ready. If you have other matters to take care of, you should go ahead. I'll let you know once we have the results. Shall we wait here at the Academy, Rover? Sure you can, but don't forget your physical examination. I'll see you in a while for that. the equipment ready. I'll need to check your health status and see if there are any unusual fluctuations. Now let's begin, if you're ready. Can you try to manifest the crownless's frequency without using your terminal? Hmm. I am not seeing the crownless's data in your terminal. 
effect, so it was indeed absorbed into your body. The crownless frequency energy was consumed by your body, leaving no trace behind. But how did you manage to do that? It's as though there's another mechanism within your body capable of absorbing frequency energy. How do you define monster? For resonators like you, such abnormal fluctuations in frequency typically lead to overclocking. This is known as overclocking and is categorized into three levels based on severity. The excess resonance energy harms both the resonator and their surroundings. In extreme cases, the excess energy can even manifest as destructive tacit fields. We have established a comprehensive overclock diagnosis process to accurately predict potential risks of overclocking. Your waveform graph shows a remarkable level of stability, surpassing any resonator I've encountered. Your risk of overclocking should be minimal. You don't need to worry about that for the time being. To put it simply, it seems there is another dimension or a creature hiding inside your body. A universe. That's a poetic and intriguing comparison. It seems we need a simulated combat to figure out what happened in your body. Please hold your terminal tight and stay still. That means simulated training ground. Don't worry. Yang Yang and I will assist you. Please fight the simulated tacit discords like you normally would. One with the sounds. As Yotan had previously detected, your bodily functions are in good condition. And you seem entirely unaffected by the Crownless's energy. Now, we will temporarily boost your resonance ability for further testing. Hey. Huh. One with the sounds. Disperse. Moment of resonance. Ha! Ha! Strike from the shadows. Not the slightest fluctuation in your frequency energy. So it was not your resonance ability either. Hmm. I suppose we'll do another round to fully test your potential. Synchronization. Tempest. Reverberation. Ha! Administering first aid. We have gathered all the data we need. The test is ending soon. Rover, you can find the exit straight up ahead. Rover, can you hear me? Hello? The comm line is dead. Something's wrong. Gotta be cautious. Now, where is the exit? I'm back to the same spot again. And this moon. No. What is happening? Are those tacit discords? now the connection was suddenly cut off rover do you still remember what you saw
Can you give us some more details? A giant tacit discord with a scythe. It doesn't sound like the crownless. Might be even higher ranked. This is the first time we've run into anything like this since we put the training ground into use. The Sonoro Sphere captures everything that once happened in a specific time and place, be it good or bad. We built this simulated training ground after the structure of Sonoro Spheres. Our goal was to extract pure remnant energy with the simulated Sonoro Sphere. But we cannot guarantee that all abnormal frequencies were eliminated. Your arrival may have revived the abnormal frequencies we accidentally captured. Remnant energy sometimes gives rise to memory manifestations of sentient beings. You may have encountered one such manifestation. I suspect it could have something to do with your unconscious mind. Such anomalies could have been hiding in the simulation, and they resonated with your subconscious. Or perhaps they were lifted from your subconscious in the first place. I'm afraid I can't give you a conclusion yet. Not until we've run a thorough analysis on the data collected. I'll also check the simulated sonorosphere again to see what on earth happened to it. In terms of bodily functions, you seem to be in perfect health. In fact, all the data look quite good. But if you feel anything unusual, please come find me anytime. a researcher at the Huashu Academy. Let me witness where this encounter will... Talk is cheap. Show me the action. your sundial, intact as it was. Mr. Mornify, can we have the test results? Simply put, it's hollow. Here, try tapping on it. It sounds different from a solid object. It's not just a timekeeping tool. It's an intricate mortise and tenon puzzle box. This sundial is hollow with an inner compartment. We scan it, and there's a small paper scroll inside. However, it's missing a crucial component. We should be able to spin the wheels on the sundial once the right component is installed. I have some basic knowledge, but there is someone else who is more knowledgeable in automata mechanics than I am. It wouldn't have taken me this long if we were dealing with tacitite weapons. Install the missing part, then rotate the wheels to their correct positions, and you should be able to solve the puzzle and access the paper scroll. However, I still have no idea what the missing component should look like. And no need to ask him. I can help you with this. I just need some time to think it over. Uh, one moment. I have an incoming call. Mm. What is it? You certainly are well informed. It's indeed beautiful data. Good taste. Well... Since you've put it that way... Prover, Mr. Mortify's expression seems to have softened, don't you think? We haven't even asked him to help us with assembling. It looks like Mr. Mortify needs more time. Maybe we should give him some space to concentrate. Rover, let's come back later, shall we? Hmm. Yes, of course. I've already noticed all that you mentioned. Indeed. You just pointed out a blind spot in my thinking. Your workshop? That hellish place? <laughs> Stop sweet-talking me. I get it. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's get back to the sundial. It's a mortise and tenon-based puzzle box. The missing component in the middle needs to fulfill two entirely different structural requirements 
At the same time, considering its entire structure, this component needs an automatic buckle that goes down on top of an embedded pointer. I'll draw up a design for you. The parts you'll need can be found in Jiang Li's workshop. I've already informed him about it. You'll only need to go fetch the parts in his place. He keeps a box full of them. prepared myself for the worst but this place looks much better than mr mortify's description though it is a bit hard to figure out where we should start results are in. The mangosteen is just an ordinary fruit. It's suitable for regular consumption. We found nothing unusual about it. From the purple leaf you presented, I detected subtle fluctuations in tacit discord's frequency from two distinct sources, but they were overlapping and difficult to distinguish. This is a rare occurrence. The scattered nature of these fluctuations rules out the possibility of them being left behind through contact. This is not an ordinary leaf, but it doesn't seem to be a tacit discord either. Based on the data we gathered, I believe it was sampled from an area struck with the wave-worn phenomena. Yes, the anomalies that occurred after the lament, including the formation of tacit fields, etheric sea, Retroact rain and gravity loss. These are collectively called the wave-worn phenomena. And the lament was the start of it all. As for the sugar pearl, it has been determined to be a type of oral vaccine. This sugar pearl expired over 20 years ago. The low temperature storage life for this vaccine is about two years. A 20-year-old vaccine. Could it be related to the children's epidemic in Zhenzhou two decades ago? The archives in the academy should have information on the sugar pearl. The archives here are organized in a unique way. You can start by searching the keywords at the lobby terminal. Mr. Mortify? The missing pointer has been installed, and now the sundial should be complete. So, the disks are rotatable now. Yes. Align the correct markers with the pointer we just installed, and then you should be able to open it. You... Mm, hold on. Remember when I said, don't force it open. Crank that thing another five degrees, and not even Zhang Li Yao will be able to save it. The 
earthly branches and four symbols. These symbols are related to the sexagenary cycle. It's an intricate way of recording time in Huanglong. Nowadays, it is mainly reserved for calendars, numerology, and indexing. But it's falling out of daily use now. What kind of information could it represent? It's the filing system. Most of Huang Long's libraries and databases still use this method to organize their archives, namely the Gram libraries. Yes, the large data repositories located in Huang Long's major cities. The Academy's public archives are organized in this manner too. If I remember correctly, Zhenzhou was established during a year of Wei, several cycles ago. The Zhenzhou City Hall and Huashu Academy were built in the same year. The Gorges of Spirits battle sparked Zhenzhou and the formidable tacit discord described here. Hmm. about the sugar pearl. What do you think, Rover? Let's look back on what we've gathered so far. Our clues point to the sugar pearl as a key in solving the sundial's puzzle. Simply put, one token can lead to multiple targets and one target may hold several pieces of information. We both had a reason for meeting. The Magistrate had information to share, while I had questions to ask. However, her tokens contain both what she wants to tell me, and what I want to ask her, making it seem like she is complicating matters. Maybe she was running out of time. That's why she could only offer us scraps of the puzzle, instead of actually putting it together. Or perhaps she's indeed a master strategist leaving breadcrumbs for us to follow. The initial clues may simply be a test to she needed to ensure that those who may come across these tokens without understanding their true meaning would not be able to use them for access. Hmm. If it were you, Yang Yang, what would you do to make sure the recipient gets what you mean? I would emphasize my true message by repeating it again and again. I'm back! I'm back! Finally done with my patrol. How's it going, Rover? Feeling spry as ever? Baijin said he is in great health. No issues to report. We made some progress in investigating the tokens, too. 
Ah, nothing special. A typical patrol. Well, Uncle Chang's cat climbed a tree, and on its way down, it landed on Uncle Chumpy's head, causing him to take a tumble. Some dogs kept barking and have been scaring the passers-by, so I went there to calm them down. I received a report about someone going missing. I just logged the case and talked to the person who reported it. You're not the one they're searching for, though. Anyhow, I need to visit the person who reported the case tomorrow. Oh, I also tried searching for Rover's terminal number, but the system came up with nothing. The latest record was from today when I took Rover for registration. That's pretty much the update for now. You betcha. All right, I still owe you a meal. The night markets are closed, though. Let's grab breakfast at Panhua's restaurant tomorrow before my shift. Meet you guys there in the morning. Be there or be square. Do you have a place to stay, Rover? Talk about hospitality. Boy, I wonder what it's like to live in the city hall. All right, enough chatter or the sun's gonna come up. Let's get Rover back to the city hall and we'll leave the rest till tomorrow.